Hi guys, Alex from Zephyr here. In this video, we're going to have a look at the rest of the checklist we started last video. We're going to go through the DJI Pilot app and have a look at some of the settings to keep you safe out there while you're flying your drone. Alright guys, so go ahead and launch your DJI Pilot app and you'll need the drone started um, to run this app properly to get all the uh, settings and stuff right. So if you're doing this inside, be sure to take off the props uh, off, the, off the drone in case you accidentally uh, start the props. You don't want to damage anything while you're inside. So if you look at the checklist uh, from the last video, we have a look at the check values section which starts at compass status so if you have a look at the status bar which is accessible by clicking the heading at the top next to the DJI, DJI icon it'll bring up an overall status uh, of the drone page and if you go down the third item down there is compass and it's got normal and calibrate I recommend each time you or out in the field at a different location to cal calibrate the, the drone. So you simply click on that and then follow the steps. It'll take you through how to calibrate the drone. The next item on that is IMU values. It's a bit, a little bit more technical this. Uh, it's to do with the accelerometers and um, the internal sensors of the drone. So to access that menu, you just head into uh, the advanced section of uh, the main controller settings which is at the bottom advanced settings and then go to sensors and then we've got here a check IMU and IMU calibration so you can check it there to make sure they're all set up but I recommend to calibrate the IMU once you've got it out of the box and set up it does take quite a bit of time so to set it up somewhere level and uh, you can go ahead and click on that the next item there is gain values. This is a little bit more advanced, but again, it's in advanced settings. And you can go to the gain settings here. Uh, I recommend leaving them at the default settings they are at the moment until you get uh, more advanced, you can play around with some of those. The max height is an important one, especially here in Australia. We've got a max altitude of 400 feet. And this is to keep you away from the rest of the aviation industry, light aircraft and things like that. So you want to go ahead and change it to 120 metres, which is 400 feet. So you can just plug that in, 120 metres, and that'll limit the drone to a, a, a ceiling of uh, 400 feet, which you should never operate above unless you've got the proper clearances. The next item there is a return to height uh, altitude which is also here on this page, you can see there. So you want to set that depending on the location you're at. So you've got high trees, you've got high buildings, power lines, etc. You want to set it to fly back to you if something happens at a height above those uh, obstacles. So basically, if you lose connection or something goes wrong and you click that return to home button, the, the drone will stop, fly up to that designated uh, ceiling you've set, and then fly back to you and land. So you always want to make sure that's set at an appropriate height for the area you're operating in. Now the RC um, EXP and the gain, this is also another little bit more advanced setting to go into, but if you have a look in the EXP there, it's got uh, basically the throttle rudder and um, the responses that you get out of your inputs so basically the only one I would change is the rudder left, uh, this, this center one here. And a setting I would use is 0.37, which um, gives you a smoother response for, from uh, your rudder inputs. So you don't get a jerky, a jerky um, image when you're um, panning with that uh, rudder. Then the VPS on, so that's your visual positioning system. Um, 
which is the camera located on the bottom of the drone, which gives you a uh, more accurate altitude um, for the drone. So that's just a um, slider here. You turn that on, and um, if you're recording over water at low levels, you want to turn that off because the water reflections can uh, impact that visual positioning um, system there. So you want to turn that off um, when over water, otherwise have it on for more accurate readings. And the last one there is satellite status. So this will come up on the main page up here where I've got disconnected at the moment, but that's because I'm not connected to the drone. I've just got it offline for this demonstration, but it'll give you the um, status if you've got satellites, as well as uh, along the top there, the second one in is how many satellites you're connected to, and it's got a little bar status there to, to get your signal strength. And you always want to operate that um, with enough uh, satellite signal when it says uh, safe to fly, um, otherwise you won't get the GPS positioning as well. So that's the end of the DJI app uh, settings on the checklist. The last couple there are format the SD card, which um, you should already have done, but it is um, it should already be automatically done with that, and you want to make sure that it is working and recording. Uh, the videos you are recording out there. And the last big one in bold there is check the home point, which is a important one because uh, it's where it's gonna fly back to you. So you can set, when you first start up the drone, you can uh, set the home point to you with the button on the uh, left-hand side there. And it'll set the home point to the aircraft or you can set it to the position you're standing in as well. So. Uh, you definitely want to make sure you have that set before you take off. And then the very last uh, check item I've got there is hover for 30 seconds and check the stability of the aircraft. And I do this, I hover the aircraft about eye level and check that all the propellers are um, stable and spinning properly. There's no wobbles, there's no um, uncharacteristic movement of the drone before I fly away from myself and uh, get too far away when something might go wrong. So yeah, hover it up above you, just check everything's running smoothly, and uh, then you're away to go. Thanks for watching, guys. Just wanted to reiterate the importance of checklists while flying a drone. They're an important safety barrier against uh, damaging the drone and uh, damaging other people, other aircraft. So go through them methodically and do them every time you fly. Don't forget to like the video if you liked it, dislike if you disliked it, and subscribe. See you in the next video, guys. Thank you.